Hello again Year 2, it's Tuesday the 5th of May. We're going to have one more day on addition word problems to really get them down before we move on tomorrow. OK, before we start, let me remind you of our four steps to success. We're going to read the question carefully, decide which operation to use. Now we know it's going to be addition, but there are some clues to find in the words, in the problems, aren't there? Words like altogether, total, more, we'll look out for those. Then we're going to decide which method to use. Sometimes it's good to use a number line if we've got two digit numbers that we're working with. And sometimes, if we're just adding on ones, it can be better to use our fingers, can't it? And then we're going to check our work just to make sure at the end. OK, here are our questions for today. You can pause the video here and have a look. Or you can keep playing and we'll do it together as a team. It's up to you. So I'll see you in a minute for Tick or Fix. OK, I hope you found that all right, you two. Let's look at question one together and see if we can solve it for ourselves. There are 19 pencils in the pot. Jason sharpens an extra 20. How many pencils are there all together? Did you spot some clues in that wording to tell us that we're adding today? I saw extra. That means more, doesn't it? We're putting more pencils, extra pencils into the pot. And I saw all together. So we're wanting to find a total. We've got two figures here and we want to find out the total. So what's that number sentence going to look like? We're going to add 19 pencils that were in there to start with. And our extra, 20. And we're going to want to come up with a total, aren't we? OK, so here are the two methods that I know. I'm going to choose a number line because I've got two digit numbers here. I know that my hands will come in handy in a minute when I add on these ones, but I have to use a number line because I don't have 20 fingers or 19 fingers. OK, so I'm going to get rid of that one for a second and use my number line. Which number should go here? 20, that's our bigger figure, isn't it? The biggest number is 20 here. OK, and our smaller number, 19, is made of 10 and 9, isn't it? Add on our 10s to start with. That's an easy one. 20, add 10, is 30. Well done. Take it off. Then we're going to add on our 1s. We've got 9 of those this time, haven't we? 9 1s. Super well done if you knew straight away that 30 and 9 make 39. And if you didn't know that, that's not a problem because you've always got your fingers, haven't you? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 pencils in total. Well done if you're starting to use the number line without watching this part of the video first. If you still need a bit of help, do feel free to carry on watching my instructions, OK? Let's look at the next one. OK, so remembering to read the question really carefully first. Here we go. James counts 15 ladybirds on a plant. Very good, because that's going to be part of our learning journey, isn't it? So he's got 15 ladybirds on a plant. He also notices 43 ants. How many mini beasts does James count in total? Now remember, we look for that vocabulary that gives us a clue. I've seen also, that means in addition to or extra, doesn't it? There's an extra 43 ants. How many be mini beasts does James count in total? So it's telling us, can you add that one and that one, please, and find me a total? Right, so what does that look like when I write it as a number sentence? 15, that's how many ladybirds I had on my plant. And then I noticed another 43, blimey, that's a lot, 43 ants and I want to find out how many mini beasts I've counted 
all together or in total. So I've chosen to use my number line to start with and I'm going to put my bigger number here. Now this time the bigger number comes second, it's 43 isn't it? And that one is much bigger. So putting it at the front is going to save lots of time. Then I'm going to split this number up into tens and ones and add on the ones first. Oh, I'm not right am I? Thank you for pointing that out. What was my mistake? Yes, I always add the tens first. Silly me, I wasn't concentrating. Let's take that away. I'm going to add on my ten first. Thank you, children. OK, 43, add ten, and I'll land on 53, won't I? Do you remember that pattern? Ten's number gets bigger, one's number stays the same. Now I'm able to add on those ones, aren't I? 53 on my head. 53, here we go. 53. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. Well done. So how many mini beasts are there in total? 58. Tick or fix. Okay, question three. How did you get on? Let's read it together. Lily collects 29 seashells on the beach. Oh, I'd love to go to the beach right now. She already has 13 in her collection. How many seashells does Lily have now? Okay, so let's have a look for some vocabulary that's going to help us. How many does she have now? So she used to have 13. Then she found 29 more, didn't she? How many does she have now? Okay, that one's a bit of a trickier one. So let's think about a number sentence. What would it look like? How many shells did she collect? 29. So she's got 29 on her, in, her, in her basket on the beach. And she's going to add on 13 because that's what she's got back at home. Okay? To find out how many is in her collection in total. Okay? Okay, so once again I've chosen a number line because both of my numbers have tens and ones, don't they? Bigger number at the start to save some time, 29. Smaller number split into tens and ones. Well done, year two. I can see that we're really getting the hang of this now. Let's add on our tens. 29 add 10 makes 39. Well done. Let's not forget our ones. Three ones to add on. Why don't you try and add them on before we do it together? Pause the video and have a go. All right, 39 on your head. 40. 41. 42. Well done. Counting like this with your fingers, forwards and back, is really, really useful for your quick mental math well done 42 so he, she's got 42 seashells in her collection altogether okay and the last question for us today let's read it nice and loud a fisherwoman catches 53 salmon that's a kind of a fish and seven cod another kind of a fish how many fish has she caught in total there's a fisherwoman somebody who goes out to fish for a living she's caught 53 of one kind of fish and 7 of another. We want to find out how many fish there are in total. Which clues did you spot to tell us it's an addition question? Oh. And, this and that, and total. We're going to add this and that to find the total. Good stuff. Let's write ourselves a number sentence. 53. That's how many salmon she caught. Salmon are like a pink kind of a fish, aren't they? And seven cod. You might get cod in the fish and chips shop. And we want to find a total. 
Okay, so let's have a think about which method we're going to use. Now, 53 is a huge number. I definitely don't have 53 fingers. Do you? No. But I do have seven fingers. So I think my fingers will be just fine. I can put 53 on my head and I can count on seven. So let's get rid of that number line. Don't need it for this question. Okay, so let's put 53 on our heads. There it is. And let's count seven on. Here we go. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Let's just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 53 and seven makes 60. The fisherwoman caught 60 fish all together. Tick or fix. Okay, I hope you got on quite well with those. Do let me know how you got on. Send me a picture and I can have a look. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at some word problems involving subtraction. So have a think. Can you remember some key words that mean the same as subtraction? See you tomorrow.